Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to discuss about big data storage. Okay. So with respect to big data storage, we have several steps involved in it. First one is the data acquisition. Then comes the data analysis. Then comes the data curation. After that data storage, after that data will be used. That is data usage. Okay. Coming to the data acquisition, we have structured data, unstructured data, event processing, sensor networks, protocols, real-time scenarios, data stream, and multimodality. Okay. And coming to the data analysis, we have stream mining, semantic analysis, machine learning, information extraction, linked data, data discovery, okay, whole world semantics, ecosystems, community data analysis, cross-sectoral data analysis as well, okay? And coming to the data curation, so what is data curation? It's somewhat related to the uh, data with respect to the integration of hardware, okay? So see, data quality need to be considered, trust, annotations, data validation, okay? So it's, it's a kind of... Uh, whatever the data we receive from the sensor, that should be validated. It's a uh, link between the, the hardware as well as the data coming from the hardware, okay? So human data interaction, top-down and bottom-up uh, scenarios, okay? Community or crowd, human computation, curation at scale, okay? And automation, interoperability, and so many things, okay? And coming to the data storage, we have uh, several... Uh, uh, DBS or the databases, okay? In-memory DBS, no SQL DBS or no SQL DBS, new SQL DBS, cloud storage, query interfaces, scalability and performance, data model, consistency, availability, uh, partition tolerance, security and privacy, standardization, all these comes under data storage. At last, we need to use the data, right? So for that, decision support, prediction, in-use analytics, simulation, exploration, visualization, modeling, control, domain-specific usage, all this falls under data usage, okay? So, generally, big data storage systems are the huge volumes, okay? In order to uh, make the use of this particular distributed or the shared architecture, okay? So, this uh, particular uh, Storages allows addressing increased storage requirements by scaling out the new nodes, okay? So as the data is keep on incoming, the scaling of the storages also keeps on increasing, okay? So by providing the computational power as well as storage, okay? So with this, what happens? New machines can be easily added to the storage cluster. So it's a kind of elastic kind of thing. As the data is keep on coming, the, rest, the storage can be expanded, okay? So the main advantage of this is new machines can be easily added to the storage cluster, okay? Which helps in distributing the data between the individual node transparently. Now, let's see some of the key insights of a big data storage, okay? So data storage, big data storage is one of the uh, advantage as well as training uh, storage which helps in huge storing huge storages with respect to IoT technologies okay and huge volumes of data can be stored okay so there are several uh, insights regarding that particular big data storage let's see one by one first one is the potential to transform society and business across sectors okay so due to this particular big data uh, storage technology, there was a huge scope of uh, transforming this particular society as well as business across various sectors. It can be like an IT sector, non-IT sector, or it can be an uh, e-commerce site and lots of many, many more technologies have been uh, introduced, which are very much novel, okay, due to this particular big data uh, memory or the storage, okay. So, Next comes the lack of standard, okay, which is a major uh, barrier. As the storage keeps on increasing and more and more technologies are being introduced due to the uh, big data st uh, storage, okay, 
So the large range of choices will be coupled, which will be lacking the standards. Okay. So, so exchange of data store. So sometimes it makes it will be harder to exchange the data stores. Okay. So which to a certain storage solution. So there will be an uh, sort of a problem, okay, which will be occurring in this particular thing as the data storage is keep on using and using. Okay, next comes the open scalability challenges, especially in a graph based data store. All the process data, okay, will be with respect to the graph data structure, okay, so which helps in easily understandable and also increasing the amount of applications all the complex re relationships will be uh, simplified okay such that uh, analyzing uh, analyzing the data will be very much easier compared to normal or the traditional one okay and coming to the data storage technologies so big data stores are used in similar ways as the traditional database management systems are okay so it's uh, for online transactional processing or data warehouses or an e-commerce site, somewhat like that, okay? So, mm, some data are like uh, unstructured and semi-structured data, it's okay? All these can be handled in a large scale, okay? So, this unstructured as well as semi-structured data are also included in a particular large scale, okay? Coming to the distributed file system. So, in the big data storage, the file system is one of the major thing. So previously, the Hadoop file system HDFS, okay, it was the cap, it was capable of storing large amount of unstructured data. Later on, uh, uh, it was keep on uh, becoming better and better. And uh, this particular Hadoop file system is an integral part of this Hadoop frame structure, okay, now which has already reached the level of the particular standard. So right now it is very much designed to handle the large data files. Okay. So it can be used for ingesting the uh, data as well as bulk processing. Next comes the no NO SQL data process. So this is one of the most probably uh, a family of big data storage technologies. Okay. So NO SQL database use data models from the outside, uh, outside world. Okay. And uh, they also helps in several transactional properties like atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. In short, we can call it as ACID, okay? So new SQL databases, okay? So the no, right now what the databases you are using, the modern form of this particular databases is to aim the comparable scalability, okay? So while maintaining the uh, transactional guarantees made by the traditional data system. Whatever the traditional database system were maintaining, better than that, they promised to maintain uh, using this particular new SQL uh, databases, okay? And next, coming to the big data querying platform, technologies that provide query, okay? So the main purpose is to big data source, such as distributed file systems or NSQL databases, the main uh, concern of any platform, like big data querying platform is the high level interface, okay? So which provides high performance as well as very much low latencies.